Let's take a quick case study. We have to find the current ratio and quick ratio of this entity. We have balance sheet as at particular date. For calculating the current ratio, we need total current assets and here you have the information about current assets and we also need total current liabilities and here we have information about current liabilities. If you add all these items, which is inventory, trade receivable, cash and cash equal and other current assets, you get total current assets, which is 150,000. And here you have current liabilities. If you add all this, you are going to get 50,000. So current asset by current liability will give you current ratio and it is 150,000 by 50,000. You get it as three is to one. It means for every one rupee of obligation, they have resources of three rupees. Let us also do a quick computation of quick ratio for calculating quick ratio. We need quick asset that is current assets should be subtracted by inventories and prepaid expenses. So 1 lakh 50,000 minus 45,000 minus 5,000 that gives quick asset of 1 lakh and current liability already we know it is 50,000. So quick ratio is quick asset by current liability which is 1 lakh divided by 50,000 and we get the ratio as 2 is to 1. It means for every 1 rupee current liability they have quick assets of 2 rupees.